Hello all, Scott Grove from GroovyMusicLessons.com here. Um, had a request after doing some bass lessons recently to actually teach you how to do um, pop and slap guitar. It is not a new thing. It has been around forever, ever since um, funk was invented. Uh, the bass players would play guitar the same way that they played their basses. So um, by request, I will teach you to do that today. Um, those sounds are these. Get down to my famous axe here. This is a conversion of one I did of the Gene Simmons axe guitars. They came with humbuckers in them. Of course, I couldn't have it that way. I had to throw three single coil silver lace centers in there. Makes it all nice and stratty sounding. Okay, so the sound we're looking at today are, you've heard it all the way back from um, God, play that funky music by Wild Cherry. Now, the funny thing is, let me grab a pick. That's the only time I'm going to need it for it. Is this song was actually very dark sounding. Um, the strings were dead on it. It was actually like... And of course, it 100% applies itself to what we're going to do today. So I'm going to start off with that particular lick. Um, and I'll teach you the lick and then show you how to actually do the popping and slapping things. And of course, people will ask, how do you possibly sit down with a guitar like that? Because I am actually sitting down right now. That's why you actually have a guitar stool. <laughs> okay, just like with the flying V, some people rest it right, you know, in between the thing of their legs. With a guitar like this, what do you need? Well, one thing you need is to sit down. The other thing that's very important is a guitar strap. That's right, you get your heavy metal guitar strap out that goes with your heavy metal guitar. And you just kind of sling it to the side. So anybody that really wants to know, this is how the guitar is hanging. Okay, so you'll actually get to see that. But yeah, you just play it to your side. <laughs> you have to with something like this. Okay, so let's get to the reason we're here. Let's get down, learn the lick. And what it's going to be, and I'll put everything on screen this way so it's easier to see, is going to be the low E string. Okay, keep in mind there are no fret markers on this guitar, which I didn't even bother to think about before I decided to use this to give a lesson. But we don't need it. We're learning how to play funk with this. The licks are going to be so easy, we don't need the fret markers. Okay, so we have open E string twice. Then on the D string, second fret. Then open, back to the second fret. Then on the A string, open, hammer on. Then one more time. Okay, so it's open. Hammer on to the second fret, play it again. This is my way, okay? Not Wild Cherry's way. This is for the purpose of learning the funk, um, because this is the way that we're going to funk it out with our right hand in a little bit. Okay, so again on the A, then again, then again, not the Wild Cherry way, but another hammer on on the D string. We're going to play it open and then hammer on to the second fret okay so everything that you're actually playing is just on the second fret so again open on the E string twice then the D string second fret so it's just second open second then A hammer on again hit it then D string open hammer on to the second okay so all you have is Get that up to speed with me real quick.
Okay, so now the thing here, um, if you've been using a pick this whole time, of course, get rid of it. No picks are allowed, ever, with this kind of playing. Okay, I always just palm my pick, which means if I'm playing, and this could be of use to some of you. Okay, so I'm going along playing. Okay, so the actual rhythm part. Okay, but sometimes I'm like... back of my finger now but I palm my pick where did it go it's right there so I'm playing like dude like Gene Simmons would do okay if anybody ever needs to have this whole thing settled this was the Gene Simmons way this was the Dio way they keep fighting over this while well, Dio can't fight anymore now that he's dead uh, Simmons will be soon I'm sure but Anyway, Gene is a bass player, kind of, that plays with a pick. Now, think this out. He didn't come up with this on purpose. He came up with it because he, too, when he went to wave at people, he wanted to wave high, or when I shake hands with people on stage, it's like this. I have to shake hands like that because I'm holding on to my pick like that. So when Gene went to wave high, it was this. I can't even get it on there, but backward this way. Because he's holding on to his pick. So he didn't make this up like he claims. He was holding on to his pick and waving. So everybody thought he was cool for doing that when he was just waving high and holding on to a pick. So, little known fact right there, folks. Um, okay, so with our funky right hand, let's learn how to do this thing. Um, the low strings. We know what we're doing now this way. If you don't, go backward because I'm not going to show that part of the guitar now. I'm moving over to show this part. Okay, so let's zoom in here and get what's happening. Okay, on the low E string for the two notes. Okay, you could do it one of two ways. Okay, uh, with funk, it is best to keep it either right at the edge Okay, this is slapping, whether it be bass guitar or regular guitar, uh, to keep it right at the edge of the fretboard or back within an inch or so. Okay, that's just the best place because what you need and what creates that sound is actually the um, sound of your strings slapping against your frets. Okay, an E string just don't sound like that string sounds like that but when it hits your frets there's metal or this okay so that okay so any way you want to do it um, that's the reason why you get that sound okay so the low E string take your thumb for now do it this way Okay, what we're going to do is assign each string a finger. Okay, we're going to use three fingers. We're going to count our thumb as a finger. So your low E string. Okay. Um, is going on the low E string twice. Okay. The three notes. And you're playing them all with your first finger your index finger and you're just pulling up each time okay straight up it's not up this way towards you it's straight up meaning away from the guitar like you're trying to pull it off of the guitar okay so everything you're doing you're not going down you're not strumming down with your thumb you're picking away from the guitar I'm trying to pull it away from the guitar. Okay. Get a good shot. Now for the other. 
Okay. Okay, looks like in this exercise I'm actually only using two fingers, my thumb and my first finger. Okay, we'll get to the uh, middle finger in a little bit. Okay, getting everything adjusted over here. Okay, um, so thumb, then. Now when you don't see it, it is my first finger now. And you're always pulling away from the guitar. So straight up. Okay, so we have twice. Now thumb on the A string. Okay, remember it's open, hammer on, then again. So it's one time you hit it, hammer on, then hit it again with your thumb. Okay, so you have. See that? And now the final E thing is picking away from the guitar, just pulling it up and snapping it, and then doing the hammer on. So it just receives the one pluck. So slowly. Okay, nice and tight shot from where you can actually make heads or tails out of it. the muting going that is actually done down here and a little bit with your other hand but that is by keeping the palm of your hand basically laying right back here by the bridge but still just enough to keep your hand in position so you can be close to that neck and just each time over exaggerating but putting your hand back on the strings okay and of course you use it in its hand down here. You're, you know how to play. <laughs> okay, so just learning how to do the thump thing. The popping and slapping. Okay, now, um, now that you have that, you can go back and forth and work on it at your own leisure so I can go forward and you can use the rewind button. Um, actually do this on your own time. Uh, pop in a thumb okay on the low E string. Okay just popping and slapping so there's a slap. This is a pop. Those are pops. There's a slap. Okay, so that's... There's your slap. Okay, so you actually take your thumb, hit it with this part, about right at the... right before you get to the knuckle, on the side of your thumb. Okay? So you can see, possibly... I don't know how well you can see right there when my thumb's starting to get red. Well, it's starting to get red everywhere, but right there. <laughs> That's where you want to hit it at. So you can see where it's hitting. Right before the first wrinkle in your thumb when you have it bent. So that's from slapping the strings. Okay, so that's where you want to hit it. Okay. <laughs> like on a bass guitar. Um, if you've never played bass like that, that's how you do it. Of course that low E string on that bass is like five times as thick as this one, so it just sounds huge and wonderful. Okay, but that's how it's done. And also another thing I have on, only thing I have on is just the amp with a little reverb, but I do have a little bit of a compressor on there too. It makes this stuff sounds so much better. Okay, and right now I'm actually using these two pickups together. 
a lot of times I'd use these, but right now I'm just using these. It just happened to sound good today, so that's where I'm at. Okay, so now to keep going on, um, keep working on getting the thumb when it's on the A string and when your first finger is on the D string that's what I want to work on right now is those two strings so A string okay so the same thing you were doing before but now we're just gonna go hammer on on the A string and hammer on on the E string I need you to work on for an exercise. And pop it, man. Pop that thing, pull it. Again, it is being, let me get rid of this stool thing for a while. Um, it is being pulled away from the body. three notes out of one pop. How am I doing that? Resting the palm of my hand more on the strings. Muting it. Keep on, keep on, keep on grooving. I don't know what's the Brady Bunch. Yes, I know the, all the Brady Bunch songs. <laughs> oh, there's what I needed. I need to zoom out just a little bit. Okay, uh, more things as far as that type of playing goes. Um, let's get a few more licks in while we're here. Um, so you can see how that's great down there in the open positions where they always sound great. Of course, if you're doing the same thing on the A string. Or. Okay. Um, a little thing that always sounds great if you're not aware of it is the third fret on the lowest string that it, you're in the open key of. So if you're in the A there. Okay, so just grabbing that third fret with your thumb to pull off instead of going to the second fret. You can even do that thing. A lot of hammer-ons. Okay, just a nice sounding thing that's constantly in there with the pops and slaps. Okay, another one I'm going to teach you is one, um, a lick I teach all the time, but now it's going to be with, uh, we're going to be licking with your fingers. <laughs> this is a finger licking good lick. Okay, um, this one is going to be in the key of, uh, let's just stick it back in G again, and then we'll throw it in all the other keys like one time, then you get to do whatever you want with. Okay, pretend we're at the second dot, so this is the fifth fret on the D string, which is your G note. Okay, we're going to learn the lick first. So, G note, third fret for your F. Now, on your A string, fifth fret for your D note. Back to the third fret on the D. Okay. Get that together. Same thing here. We're using two fingers, a finger and a thumb. Okay. Okay, that 
is with your finger on the A string, fifth, third, first. So the first one is a slide from five to three, fifth fret to third fret. Then another pop with a bend towards the floor. Now use your thumb with some vibrato here on the third fret of the low E. So you have. Okay, one more time here. Okay, so there's the lick. Yes, I'll show you that. So there's the lick. Okay, again. Everything being shown up close. And if you need this. And once more here. Okay, so at full speed, everything's shown on camera. Get rid of my stool as much as I can. Hey, that don't sound right. <laughs> okay. Okay, keep um, rhythmic sounds, whatever you can do. I don't care if it's mm, or whatever it's in you. <laughs> Okay, so it's whatever to keep things funky. That's what this is all about. About getting funky. It's about like uh, leaving leaving your drawers on for three weeks without washing. Getting funky. Okay. Okay. Very cool. Um, that can be used in anything. Take it to C. Just drop the whole thing down. One string. Move it all up. Two more frets. Back to C. Back to G. Now, don't just think you can weasel away. You can do this whole thing and do your scales by just doing this. playing before play it like this now make it funky okay G chord bar chord okay we're gonna make it not minor on purpose but we don't need the middle G string here so <laughs> there to that okay so we're just doing your uh, low E string your A string and your D string as a G bar chord thumb, taking its usual position on your low E string, and now we're finally using the other finger. Um, a string is your typical first finger, and your middle finger now is manning the D string. Okay, they'll be doing unison. This is the claw. Okay, so you actually have to pick up the strings. Again, you're pulling both of them. Up at the same time away from your guitar okay like you're trying to tear them off the guitar now you're doing a pull off at the same time with both of them they want to go G and that's a pull off Right back to G. Is going that 
fast necessary? Yes. Why? I'll show you why in just a second. Okay, that's another cool thing. Just, I'm just making stuff up off the top of my head. So use what you can. If you like something, use the rewind button because chances are I'm going to take it for granted that you can already play this stuff with, with a pick and now you can just play it this way. Okay. I'm not going to explain this one, I'm just going to show it to you, okay? butter your thumb on your first finger. Guess a quick one. Another great one, grabbing the G string and the D string while you have just the first finger up. just a little bit ago. Same thing I showed you on the play that funky lick. Pulling off on each one. Same thing here. Same two fingers, the thumb and the first finger. Okay, now we're going to ask you to do me and the guitar, that's we. To do a combination that you have not done yet, and that is your thumb and your middle finger only. So we're going to be doing the low E string and doing the octave thing so the G here and the octave but you're using your middle finger you're leaving out your buddy right here he's out of here okay it looks like they're together but your middle finger is the only one playing your other buddy's not playing okay so hit it then hammer off or pull off sorry hammer off <laughs> okay. Okay. Now this is just simply a nice way to get up to the C. Then we can go right back to using all three fingers. But how cool, huh? That's the cool thing about the funky way of playing, or the slapping and popping. So you can use all, or just the middle finger, whatever you want to use. What I'm doing there is just skipping from the thir third fret, sorry, for my faux pas, third fret at the beginning of the G. Now I'm going up. E string. Okay, and then everything like normal. Then just go right up 
skip one fret, go right up to the A, up to the fifth fret. Okay, so then we just keep going up one fret. Okay, so it's that many times. Playing one, two, three, four. Okay, so you're only climbing up four different frets, but you went actually went up five frets. The reason is because you skipped over the fourth fret. So you go right from third to fifth, six, seven, eight. Okay, so when you skip, the, it's just what happens when you have to get to the C chord in time. You know, in actual time, not in time for dinner or anything. <laughs> I was doing that with the thumb and the middle finger doing the climb. Okay, the best thing to do is mute, mute, mute down here on your low string. Okay, so you hear the note, but it doesn't ring. Otherwise, it gets real slack. If you like that, do it. But otherwise, if you want it to be funkier, Okay, then when you get up there, you know, all your buddies can come back into play again. That is just what I showed you how to flatten it out and play your G string and D string right after the pull off. So that's A and D string pull off, low E string, now G string and D string. Okay, if your teacher could get it right, it would help you. Okay, again, strings four and five, and then six, then three and four. Okay, so whatever you want. Okay. Just went backwards. Okay. Okay, now here's where it gets uh, time for me to really fly, and that is to do the same thing you did. Okay, um, you can do two different things here. There's what's called a ghost note, and that is just simply that, a noise. There's no note there, so it's a ghost note. Okay, actually doing two now for this demonstration. So it will be the same thing. Okay. What you're hearing are ghost notes. Okay, so that's just taking the other strings, muting them by not fully pressing down on the frets. Okay, but we're going to use all three fingers. Okay. After the pull off, then ghost note, then ghost note on your A string and your E string. Check it out. Then you can play once you're back in C. Okay, that's just really cool sounding. Hear the subtlety of it? That's what's actually happening. But it flies by so fast. This is actually country. This is a banjo roll. Thumb, middle, first. 
Yes, I've uh, actually bluegrassed you guys and tricked you into thinking it was something else, but it's a great technique to know. Okay, um, the other thing is just actually include all the notes now using the same thing. So now you're going to use all three fingers, but play all three notes. more uh, quickies as far as this type of thing. Again, by request, and I always appreciate um, when I get to do requests like this that is somehow in my realm, um, being that this is looked at by me in a country way, but it is envisioned by you in a funk way. Okay? So that's why I'm able to teach this thing and why I play um, fairly well uh, doing this um, kind of playing because it is actually done a lot in country okay so just so you know um, that's why I have this particular skill set um, the other ones are um, let's just do another lick um, this one being uh, let's do yeah, let's go ahead and do that one. Um, it's another quick one where we're going to use our first finger and our middle finger and our thumb. So all three. Okay, it's just an extension of what we did before. And then I'll show you a couple actually more popping things to get to round us out for the night. Um, this one is very country-ish, but it gives you more skills with this hand that you can go and do with what you want so you don't have to remember the lick but what's being done on this hand is very useful for you to learn right now okay so even if you don't like country to heck with it learn what's going on so you can uh, incorporate this into the style that you want okay you get it um, sometimes you have to eat your lima beans these are your lima beans coming up right here Okay, so we are kind of looking at the 5th fret, even though, again, there's no dot except for me. Okay, we're going to straddle that. <laughs> okay, okay, so we're actually doing 4th fret on the B string with your 1st finger, and 6th fret on the B string. Yep, there's a method to do it. <laughs> Both of them on the same string, 4 and 6. Look at the fingers I'm using. And put your pinky on the 6th fret on the high E string. Okay? Okay, what we're going to do now is take our first finger and our middle finger on the B and E strings, the ones we're actually playing. Okay, we're going to bend. I put the other finger back here on the fourth to help you bend that sixth fret. We're going to bend the B string only. You're still doing the claw. Okay. So you're starting with what's called a pre-band. I know half of you are laughing because you understand what I'm thinking of when I say pre-anything. Okay, so you start with the 6th fret, okay, which is F, all the way bent up to the G. Okay, so you use your 
one back here on the fourth for support. And yes, you will end up playing that note, so it's in the waiting. Okay, so we play both. Okay, so we do play it while it is up, both of them. Claw hammer style. Now our first finger, grabbing the fourth fret. matter of how you phrase it. If you bend it up, your pinky's waiting there for that high note, that C. Or not actually a C, it's the seventh of it. So your um, B flat, but it's just part of a C chord. C7. So let's start that again with me concentrating on what I want to teach you. Claw the E and B string, release it, pop that there B string at the fourth fret, thumb on your fifth fret on your G string. However you want to do it, but here's what I'm doing to show you. Just the B string. That's another cool one, but you get to see it. What was that? Same thing I already showed you that was country. it individually or slowly I mean or play them individually back and forth with your thumb and your first finger okay. okay so you get what I'm after okay now from there it's just a lick that we did earlier in G okay but now we're just doing it in C so fifth fret on your G string I don't need to teach you a lick again because you learned it 45 minutes ago. Actually, five to three with your first finger down here on your G string five, meaning five, fifth fret. Pull off to three, fifth fret on the D, third fret on the G. Now, five, three, one on the D. Slide, hit it, then thumb, third fret. Okay. 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 That's always kind of a neat trick if you're ever just down there. Take that last note you hit right here at the first fret and Hit it again after you hit that last note. And then just bend that down towards the floor until it comes up and becomes your third of the C chord. It takes some doing, but by golly, you're supposed to be like this. Man. You can't see the guns under this shirt, man. These things are lethal. Okay, just a flip amazing. Okay, um, <laughs> you believe that? Me neither. <laughs> okay, this is just a simple um, actual bass line. Okay, but this is what gets people's attention. They like to hear this stupid little thing. Um, one of the most simple basic bass guitar funk lines around, but 
people like to use it on guitar. I use it all the time. And that is just the old... Okay, I kind of showed it a minute ago, but this is for strictly the reason of doing that and um, getting in, like I said, one more of these, the slapping, okay? Instead of just the popping. Instead of doing popping with our thumb too, you actually get the... actually get to play that way again okay so very last thing for this particular video once again thanks for asking me to do it okay again just your two guys here your pincher fingers not the claw the pincher there's a difference <laughs> that's a whole other video isn't it guys <laughs> there's your claw let's learn how to use this and your pincher oh yeah <laughs> okay I'm retarded I know it and quit telling me to quit saying the word retarded it's just in my vocabulary. Yes, I have people in my family that are retarded. You're like, no. It's like, yeah. Okay. So, I'm not trying to be PC. I'm just trying to be me. So leave me alone. If you want a PC, uh, ditch your Mac and go buy a PC. Okay? Enough yelling at you? Good. Here we go. Okay. So, third fret. G. G note, not G string. That's a whole other video again. Goes back in with the crab and the <laughs> crab. Break out the comb and the little salve and the <laughs> okay. So again, just octaves. Okay, fifth fret, right there. Third fret here. Okay, get her going. Thumb, first finger. Okay. Two, three, four, five. We're doing five whole sets of these. One and two and three and four and five and. So what we do when we move down, for those who have not caught up yet, some of you have passed me and already gone to sleep. Going down to open and two, then one and three, two and four, then back to one and two and three and four and five and one and two and three and four and five and. muting as you want to do with the butt end of your hand. <laughs> Let it rain or mute it like crazy. other exercise left are jumping jacks one two oh I got you okay it's just doing the same thing like we were doing on play that funky music we actually slap it okay just simply hitting that low E string right there at the edge of the fretboard, right past it, right about here. If whatever other finger feels great for you to use, it don't matter, it's only music, okay? There's no right and wrong way on this stuff, okay? It have, whatever works for you down here is what works for you. Uh, it's like me going over there and trying to tell Flea how to play bass. Okay, so try to get that. horse galloping. Okay, so all seriousness, this is it.
you get it. Okay, so that be it. I'm coming up here just to get all kinds of pretty with you. Um, find my stool and sit down. Oh, mercy. So once again, <laughs> I'm just leaning back, enjoying myself. Scott Grove, GroovyMusicLessons.com and here on uh, YouTuber. And thanks for the uh, request to do a little bit of that popping and slapping and funking around, all right? So you guys uh, can always click on the link directly below here if you're on YouTube. It gives you links to all of my free lessons. Go get them on my site. There are paid lessons if you want them there, but there are literally over 100 hours of free lessons on there also. So, um, and they'll always be coming out. So you can learn to play for free over there where they're all arranged nicely by instrument and genre. Or you can search through my 500 and some wacky videos over here where I like to pretend like I'm an actor and uh, scream at people and carry on different personas like Roger from American Dad and all kinds of weird stuff. So uh, <laughs> thanks for just putting up with me, okay? And I honestly enjoy teaching y'all. Uh, thanks for letting me do it. Take care and bye-bye. Here I come. Wee! <laughs>